This moment in Geneva seemed like a major milestone. The US and Russia finally shaking hands on a framework for Syria to hand over its chemical weapons. But as UN envoys now debate the plan, it's clear there are still big disagreements over the detail of a potential resolution. That includes who was responsible for last month's chemical attack. John Kerry on Thursday again made his case. Sarin was used. Sarin killed. The world can decide whether it was used by the regime which has used chemical weapons before, the regime which had the rockets and the weapons, or whether the opposition secretly went unnoticed into territory they don't control to fire rockets they don't have. But Russia doesn't buy it, and Vladimir Putin, who's proved to be Syria's most important supporter in the crisis, cautiously backed its efforts on Thursday. Whether Syria will be able to bring this process to an end, I cannot be 100% sure. But everything we have seen until now in the last few days gives me confidence that it's possible and that it will be done. But this man has thrown up another rather surprising scenario. Speaking to the British newspaper The Guardian, the Syrian deputy prime minister said that the country's civil war had reached a stalemate and the government would be ready to call for a ceasefire. In the interview, he said neither the armed opposition nor the regime is capable of defeating the other side. He went on to say, let nobody have any fear that the regime in its present form will continue. But in order to realise our progressive reforms, we need the West and all those who are involved in Syria to get off our shoulders. Syria has to deliver a list of its chemical weapons by this weekend, and the crisis will be top of the agenda at the UN General Assembly meeting next week. International pressure is more likely to increase than fall away anytime soon. Katie Watson, BBC News, Washington.